Hey guys, so I want to talk about a couple things and uh, they kind of all go together. So first I want to talk about what is the right size for your gravel bike and for you, um, which, you know, I really can't answer that for your personal needs, but what, what, I'm, what I'm going to do is answer that for me. And and that's what ties into these other things. I've landed on this 700 by 45 C tire. And this one obviously is more on the knobby side of things for um, my climb up here, which is pretty loose and um, gets a little bit chunky, especially as you go towards the top of Mount Wilson. It's really chunky up there. I've had really good luck with these tires, not only here, um, but you guys that know that live around here know about Brown Mountain, so this is fine for climbing Brown Mountain. I paired it up with this tire. It's a little bit faster rolling, but probably when this tire wears out, I'll just put um, this Ultra Bite front and back. This is the Bite in back. That's the Ultra Bite in front. They're mounted on these I-28 rims of Zip Explore. And I had them laced up to Chris King Hubs by uh, Wheel Builder. And uh, I really like them. I like the fact that they're wide profile. I can put a cush core in there, which I do have a cush core gravel in there. And uh, they are real, they're at 30, 35 PSI or 32 PSI in the front and about 30, 28 in the rear. And that feels great. Um, I can go lower than that, um, make them a little bit softer, especially with that cush core. And those tires hold in there. Now these rims, um, you can't just put any tire on there. They're um, the hookless bead design. So um, you need to be careful and take a look at their website with tires are compatible. These ones worked out, but I have tried other tires that didn't work out. So with that said, those are 700 by 45. And for mostly off-road, with some road, I admit I get on the road too with this. I like them. They're not as smooth on the road as some more narrow tires or some um, slicker tires, but they work fine. Some of you guys like the ones with the center ridge or the smooth center part. And those work out really nice. The more of the mixed tire, they work um, both on good on road and on gravel. But these, I like these, and um, I just, they feel great. So let me talk about the second part of this. It's gearing selection. Now, if you notice that when I first built this bike up, and I told you this before, I put a 44, and the cassette actually only went up to 42. So it was really road orientated. And I had 700 by 40 C tires with not much of an aggressive tread. They were just, they were regular Gravel King um, tread, but they weren't Gravel King, they were the um, Terravel. So those tires worked out really nicely and I ran them for a while. Now they were actually 700 by 38, but they blew up pretty nicely. And um, with that 44 in front, and the 32 and back, I mean, not 32, 42 and back. Um, it was a little more road orientated, although I could get up normal hills, but this hill up here is not a normal hill. This is steep. This is over 10% gain most of the climb and a very unforgiving climb without any flat spots. So I switched it. I switched the front to a 38 and actually at the same time, I switched to that big Garbarook 46. 
and I like it. I almost went bigger on the Garbarook, but I didn't really want to change my um, my derailleur, um, my pulley hanger um, cage, and um, switch all that stuff out. So I thought I would try the 46 first, and it's working out, and I like it. And uh, if I go a little bit now, as you could see today. I was in this gear. I didn't really go all the way down to the big 46, but I got pretty close. And I think I would actually prefer just to get that down to a 36 um, instead of a 38 and increase my range that way. It takes away the top end for the flats and for the descents, but I don't really need the top end for the flats and the descent, so I'm not too worried about it. And uh, I'm gonna, um, that's another thing I wanna lead into, and that's the rim width. Now this would be the hardest thing to change because it would be meaning you would be buying a new wheel set or a new rim at least. And I like having wide rims. And I've said this time and time again, some of my most viewed videos in the past have talked about wider is better and how much I like rim width um, for my mountain bikes. I feel the same way about my gravel bikes. So I'm going to, uh, well my other um, wheel set has i30 DT Swiss XM481 rims which are basically mountain bike rims and these are i28 but I'm going to stand behind the wider rim with the 45C tire for me is about the best of both worlds because you can air it down and really get a lot of traction. You could even go with a 700 by 50C tire if you really feel like it's you're on the edge of just cross country mountain biking. Or you can um, be fine with 700 by 45 or 700 by 40, but still have that extra volume with a wider rim so that's what i wanted to talk about the tire width the rim width and the gear selection so thanks for watching guys leave a comment below and thanks for uh, the comments on the past videos appreciate you guys watching